What's going on guys? So I have been waiting for quite some time, but finally I just saw the, the FedEx truck. I'm looking for my keys right now. Keys, keys, keys. I'm not gonna be like Stradman, where's the keys? I think I set them out. I think I set them out out here. Anyway, yeah, there they are. So I've been waiting and I'm gonna go down to my mailbox and get, oh. Well, I don't have to go down my mailbox. They are right there. <laughs> so let's see what the hell I got here. All right. Hope everybody's having a good day. And uh, yeah, I just got another package too, a few days ago, and it was my rotors. So I got those from Nissan, Nissan uh, Direct actually. I'll do that, there we go. All right, off with the uh, flip-flops and I need a knife so I can open up the box. All right. Okay guys, so let's, whoa, <laughs> ah, I'm tired. All right, so I'm back at school guys, so I'm up till two, three, four o'clock in the morning doing homework now. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna set you guys right here. There we go. And I got the, the box right here. So we'll find out what they sent me. Ah, okay, it's from Danny Husker. I hope I said that right. And that's from Z1 Motorsports. Yeah, so let's see here. Oh yes, awesome. Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know, I've been having problems with uh, the EBC and the D, uh, DBA brakes that I had on the car. Let's see here. And they suck, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, EBC, but your brakes suck. So I'm going back to the brakes that I had on there before that were really, really good. And I had disc brakes, Australia, DBA, rotors on the car, and they sucked ass. So I literally, yeah, it's way better. So I literally said goodbye to those. And uh, wow, no stickers or nothing? Oh, I'm surprised. I'm gonna have to call Danny and be like, WTF, man. So, these are disc brakes. I'm sorry, disc brakes from uh, Nissan, and these are G-Lock. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, these brakes, these brake pads here from G-Lock, see if I can do that. Uh, wait, there we go. <laughs> All right, so this is not a paid sponsorship. This is actually what I use on my car, and I found this from talking to a friend of mine who also runs it on her 370Z, Jamie. So anyway, uh, they're really good and uh, I've driven her car several, several times and I was really impressed with how well they gripped on the rotors. And, and guys, they're just factory rotors. They're not two-piece hat systems or anything like that. Yada, yada, yada. These brakes hold up amazing. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, they're made out of, uh, they're made in Mooresville, North Carolina. And if you go online and you just look up G-Lock brakes, guys, you won't be disappointed. So the reason I switched is I was told the one thing about these brakes is if you're running them on the streets and stuff like that and they, they, they wear out really well. So the problem is, is you get a lot of brake dust. And you know what? Hey, you wanna race, you wanna play, you gotta pay. So I was getting tired of it, I got lazy, and that was my fault. Wait. There we go. <laughs> so it's upside down. So G-Lock. I got tired of the brake dust and I was like, ah, you know, EBC says that they have brake pads that are less, um, less messy. And ultimately I said, well, I'll give that a shot. And I regretted every minute of it. So in case you're wondering, I got the EBC brake pads and DBA rotors. The DBA rotors were drilled in slotted and the EBC brake pads were um, the red stuff and they suck. I'm sorry, but it is what it is, guys. DBA, EBC, if you're out there and you're listening, tough shit, man. Tough titty, your stuff sucks. So I went back to G-Lock, and the reason being is because they are awesome. So, a little messier than, the, than uh, the factory ones or anything like that, or even the Nismo ones, but they are absolutely amazing. 
really, really well put together, great quality, and I, I didn't have any problems with them. The problem, the problem that was really there was me. I, I just got lazy. So I was like, oh, I can, I can do better, right? Nah, can't do better. First of all, the G, the G, uh, the G lock brakes stopped like on a dime. The freaking uh, EBCs sucked. They shimmied, shaked, and because they were such a harsh material, they caused um, my rotors to warp. And that's not just the front two. That's all four guys. I couldn't believe it. I spent a lot of money on the DBA uh, rotors and a lot of money on the EBC brakes, and the quality just sucks ass. So I went back to what I know, G lock. These are tested, proven. I've been on the tail of the dragon with these brakes. I've been cross country with these brakes. I've put these brakes through 140 miles an hour in Mexico uh, on their expressways and came off the ramps, on the ramps, off the ramps, brakes all the time, never had a problem with them. So very happy about these brakes getting here and I can't wait to get rid of it because right now guys, my steering wheel shimmies and shakes and it's getting real bad and uh, it's just because whatever the problem is between the EBC brake material and then the actual DBA rotor, they just can't, they don't work well together and uh, they're poor quality. So much props to Danny for getting to these, uh, me to these very quickly and um, I was super excited to get them today and I'll tell you, if you have a 370Z and you enjoy it every day and um, you also want to take it to the track or you want to have some fun for some spirited driving up in the mountains, then guys, this is the brake for you. So on my 370Z, these are the brakes I use. They're GP1346-GS-1. Okay, and that's for the fronts. Hope you guys can see that. And this is a great, great material, um, a great... A great compromise. They're not fully dedicated uh, track brakes, but they're also not street brakes either. They're kind of somewhere in between, but more leaning towards the 75% track variation. So uh, on the backs, I used uh, the same number, GP13, but in this case, 47 GS1s, okay, dash GS-1. Dash so this is for your rear. And they're just amazing. And this is for the 370Z with the Aki Bono brakes, the Sport or the Tech or the Touring package, okay? If you have the original ones, then uh, it's not gonna work up, guys. It's not gonna mesh well. So that being said, um, think about it. Brakes are like a huge deal. You can go fast as you want and have all kinds of performance under the hood, but if you can't stop or in the corners you have unreliable braking, you're gonna end up wiping out and you're just, all that hard work that you put into the car is just gonna go out the window. So that's why I chose G-Lock. Um, I think I ordered these, uh, I think I ordered them Saturday, Friday or Saturday, and it's Wednesday and they were here. So that's really amazing, especially with the COVID-19 and all the things that are going on with the, with the US Postal Service and stuff like that, uh, and FedEx and not having enough staff to uh, deliver everything. They did a great job getting them here. So yeah, guys, I can't, I can't talk about these enough. And if, if you're not sure, talk to other people who uh, have raced, who have been on cross country road rallies, who have been on a gumball rally, and any other type of spirited driving venture, I'm pretty sure they use G-Locks, all right? They have all kinds of different variations. If you go on the website, uh, they have everything from mild to completely wild. So you can have something that's street and then you can uh, bump it up from there and do something like I did with, with this package or you can go fully dedicated uh, race brakes. And the cool part is, is they make these to order, guys. They don't have them just sitting on a shelf anywhere where the, the outer body's gonna get all rusty from sitting or anything like that. They make these to the spec and the, what the customer is asking for. So it's just really, really cool. It's a little bit, it makes you feel like it's a little more bespoke, you know, and it's kind of neat. So yeah, the only thing I wish I would have gotten were some stickers, because I love my stickers and I'm trying to create a sticker uh, background for my garage type thing. And uh, that's, that's later down the road. But I've accumulated quite a bit of stickers from all the components I've purchased. And I'm not just gonna buy a sticker pack, guys, where you have all these stickers that are for products that you don't have in your car, or you don't have in your cars, in my case, because I have several cars, but I'm just saying, uh, 
these brakes, it's like, I ordered these last week. Um, my birthday was last week, and uh, these are part of my birthday present here. I'm not kidding, I was super stoked to get these again. And I've just been so dis, I can't tell you guys how disappointed I am. I've said it a few times already in this video, but the, the brake pads were that disappointing. And I'm not saying this because, you know, I just don't know what I'm talking about, or I'm saying this because I do know what I'm talking about and I'm too picky. I'm saying this because I've been driving spirited as well as daily for the last, I don't know, 25 years, okay? Actually, 27 years. And I'll tell you, nothing compares to these brake pads. I mean, unless you go with like something completely uh, custom like Brembo, Willwood, or something like that, then yeah, you know, you have, but to, to put them on your stock, in this case, I got four piston calipers on the 370Z, four or six, I think they're four, four in the front, and I think it's like two in the back. But anyway, uh, to go from your, no, actually they are six, they are six ones, sorry, they're six piston in the front, and I think they're four in the back. So anyway, to go from like your factory pads to these, you're gonna notice a huge, huge difference. So again, G-Lock, thank you. Danny, thanks for getting these to me a lot, uh, a lot quicker than I thought. Um, I really appreciate the rush job. And uh, with that being said, guys, think about when you put your car together and uh, test out new products, you know, be ready for to go back to something you already knew or something that was already quality. And sometimes when you get to that point of that happy balance of, yeah, they're a little messy, the brake pads, but at the same time, uh, they're amazing. You might as well call it quits. My my failure was that I thought I could do better. And you know what? G-Lock proved me wrong. So, honestly. EBC, much love, but not for my car. Uh, DBA, same thing, much love to y'all, but just not for my car. Sorry it didn't work out, but uh, always with G-Lock for life. And uh, that being said, this video is over. So I will see you guys on the road.